Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and a big hello and welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me. So this is going to be a Christmas set. So I've pushed this one through and decided to voice over this one before any others. Otherwise I'll end up uploading this in January or February and it won't have the same effect. So yeah, this is a Christmas one. So I've used Glitterama ombre white here to just create the background so like so it's going to be a bauble um i just wanted to do a quick oh and i'm just adding a snowflake from glitterati nails i uh, just wanted to do a quick um not review um a quick kind of review on the glitter armor uh acrylic wow this stuff is so easy to use. It's like when you put it on the nail, it's like have using polygel. It's so moldable for, for quite a while. Um, and But it still stays where you've put it. So I would urge anybody um, to go over to Glitter Armor. And I purchased the uh, set of core powders the small set of core powders so i think you get like 10 pots of their core powder range uh little pots so but they go quite a long way but they're all like testers so you can try it out and it's well worth the money so yeah that's just a big shout out to glitterama so now i think i've used ballet slippers in this one or ballet shoes um to create a triangle shape there well rough triangle shape using my brush to get that nice sharp shape my ball ball i added a snowflake in the middle and that like i say is from glitterati nails and i've got a code for that which is amy if you use that you'll get a little discount on your order your whole order so it doesn't matter how much you order you'll get a discount on all of it which is very good so how is everybody i hope everybody's well let me know in the comments box on to the what i think is the um ring finger which it is oh glam and glitz made in sweet i love this color it's just perfect it's amazing i love it but for some reason my pot this i picked up the bead placed it on the nail it was it was hard to deal with then it just wouldn't set. So I don't know if my pot is maybe out of date. If anybody knows, let me know. It, it could be out of date because I've had it for quite a while. But, oh, it's just, I, 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 I couldn't not use it. I needed to use it. I really like this colour and it's what I want. It's the colour I wanted for this set. Not everybody wants red, gold, silver, green. So I went with the pink, but as you can see, I'm coming back, I'm having to come back to that. And I've cut some, some of the timing out. I'm having to keep coming back to it because it keeps bouncing back, which isn't right. It shouldn't do that. Um, so now I'm just capping this ball ball, making sure I've got enough height, building up that wall all the way around. So it's the same, the same applies whether you're doing a straight or a round wall, you still need to create that wall. So I've popped that on using clear acrylic, which was CJP, crystal glass. And then I didn't feel it was high enough around the top, so I added a little bit more. And on what would be the pinky, I've done a, oh no, what would be the thumb? I've done a full nail of Made in Sweet. Another thing is this, this colour marbles, but it's done that from the beginning, so... Some colours just do, it can't be helped. And again, I'm coming back to that because I can see it's just not polymerising on the nail. It's, it was really irritating. So I thought I'd try and work a little bit wetter. That made no difference to the application of the, the acrylic. It just made it really thin and the, the colour not opaque enough. So I went back to working how I should and would work. But this one's going to be an ombre with white, but then I'm going to be adding some glitter. So I'm bringing that quite far up because I want mostly pink on show. 
the only reason I put the white on was because the glitter I'm using is um it's it's like a white clear iridescent glitter so it needed something behind it so I thought I'll put some white behind so as you can see there's not a lot there I popped that on and blend it in with the pink and I've also come off camera to file this triangle shape I didn't leave any of the filing in in this one Oh, and I'm annoyed with myself because I should have left the white there. I shouldn't have added any more because I wanted to put some glitter around the triangle. But no, silly bollocks forgot and decided to just make sure that this whole nail around the triangle was filled, which I shouldn't have done. But anyway, we are where we are. And um, yeah, so I'm but making sure I'm building up that, that white, making sure it's all tucked in and butted up to that chevron or triangle whatever you want to call it just blending that down because I want the bottom of the nail to be pink so again I place a little bead on turn my brush around and try and just swipe that up to the sides because again it's not doesn't need to be a perfect ombre it's going to have glitter on it so it, there's no need for, to, for perfection the only need that bit that needs to look good is the triangle and the bottom of the nail because they're the parts that you will see so now I'm coming in again with the ombre white from Glitterama and creating another side diagonal line, uh, making sure that's built up enough. It's uh, it's almost like a candy cane effect. So it'll be pink white, pink white, and like I say, bringing that, making sure I'm bringing that wall up high enough to butt up the next colour. But I am filing these lines off camera each time uh, they've set. Now in with the pink around the bauble. So this is going to be a full nail around the bauble. All I did was just keep adding the pink as difficult as it was until it was as high or just near on as high as the bauble. I'll stop chatting now and let you watch. In we come now with the glitter, and this is from Glitter Armor Nails. No, just Glitter Armor, and it's a loose glitter, so no clear acrylic mix with it. And it's called Fay, and it is beautiful. It, it's got um, butterflies. Uh, I think it's got little stars in it as well, but I don't think I managed to pick any of them up. And little tiny hexagons mixed up, and it's like, like I say, iridescent. So I'm just tapping that out making sure I've got enough coverage on that white and just blending down a little bit onto the pink. And I use that on this pinky or what would be the pinky and the pointer finger round the, round the white. I pretty much knew that I was going to file most of it off because I'd brought the white up too high. But I added some anyway and it, it turned out okay. So here we go now just with that glitter and I'm picking that up with a tiny little clear bead of acrylic. Pop that on, swirl it around, get the glitter mixed in with that acrylic that you've picked up 
and then nudge it into the places that you want. And then I'll just bring that down onto the little bit of the pink as well. Doesn't matter if you get it over the top of onto the chevron or the triangle because I'm going to be filing that anyway. So I wasn't really too bothered about getting it on there. Onto encapsulation, and this time I used Glitterama Crystal Clear to see how this would apply. And again, I really liked working with it. It's easy to use. Straight onto the nail, tap out. It's yeah, it was it was just a really good acrylic system. Um, and they've got loads of colours on there. They don't just do core powders. They've got loads of loose glitters, um, pre-mixed glitters and acrylic colours. So I do say I do think anybody that's doing nails or into nails, um, definitely head over there and have a look at their supplies. So like I say, encapsulation now. So I'm bringing that up onto the... Just, just below where the triangle ends because I don't need to cap that triangle. We use the core powder so it's not needed. I'm just encapsulating the bottom of that nail. Making sure I've got enough strength there. The middle nail I didn't need to do. So then I went in with my last bead on the uh, ring finger, sorry. Yeah, the last bead on the ring finger because I knew this was this needed to set and it was taking a while. So you want to try and create a flow when you're doing the nails. So you're not just doing one nail and sticking to that one nail, otherwise you'll be sat there for a while waiting for each part to polymerise before you can go into another part. So whilst you're waiting, you might as well move on to another nail. So that's what I'm doing now, just adding that there. And annoyingly, it kept falling off the side, kept bouncing back. But I did get there. And then I encapsulate that last nail, that pinky. So now I've gone off camera and now I've filed all of these nails all into shape and I'm using CJP Gel Golden Roses. I love this gel and I'm just creating what would be the hanging part for the bauble and a tiny little bow just at the top. And if you watch me regularly or you know how I do nails, you'll know that I absolutely hate nail art and I can't do it. But once I saw that the gold, that how, how nice that golden roses looked with the pink and the white and the glitter, I thought, oh, I'm going to add some more in different places. So I'd spent all that time sharpening up these lines on this candy cane nail and then I went and filled in with um, gel anyway so you wouldn't be able to see those nice sharp lines <laughs> so a bit of a waste of time but here we are we um I, I didn't decide till the end to do this so just drawing on those lines 
on the candy cane and then I think I do the triangle as well and then I attempt some snowflakes on that thumb. It looked okay. Yeah, okay is probably being nice but yes, it looked okay so I'll leave you to watch that. And now it's the best bit of the video, top coat time. So I'm using Glitter Bell's No Wipe Top Coat for this. And straight in, just top coating all of those nails, bringing them to life, making that glitter pop. I'll leave you to watch this. Big thanks to everybody that's watched this video. I really appreciate your support. It makes me want to push further and makes me want to document more on my acrylic journey. So these are the finished nails. And like I said, thank you for watching. I shall see you soon. Hope you have a good Christmas. Lots of love. Amy. Bye.